Good morning, guys, and welcome to Vlogmas 2024. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Gabby. Please consider subscribing and join the family as we journey on to a happy life. In today's video, I will be cooking steak and eggs for dinner and show you guys some of our evening routine, what I do with my daughter before we go to bed. Today I was really craving steak and eggs so I decided to cook us some steak and eggs for dinner. Um, this was sirloin steak and I just patted it dry. This is a trick that I heard from TikTok. I fry everything in a little bit of butter. So I just went ahead and added some butter into the pan and then let that heat up before I went to go get my eggs from the fridge. I seasoned my steak with just a tiny bit of barbecue spice because the spice can get way too salty and I also added some black pepper. I do want to add a disclaimer, I'm not a professional chef. I'm just a girl cooking dinner for her family, so please do not come for me. I'm one of those people who do not like touching raw meat and chicken, so immediately after spicing the meat I always have to wash my hands and then I put a 3 minute timer on to cook my steak for 3 minutes on each side and then I moved on to the eggs. I added some butter in the pan and I was just going to do some scrambled eggs. This is one of my go-to dinners because it's so quick and easy and you literally have to prep nothing. You just need to get your steak out and it takes a few minutes to heat up the pan, like a um, few minutes to fry it and yeah, you have dinner in no time and the cleanup is also very quick and I'm all about efficiency. I work hard and I don't have a lot of time to stand and spend in the kitchen. So I try to cook meals that only take less than 30 minutes from start to finish. I added some more butter on the steak, on top of the steak. And then I seasoned my eggs with a little bit of aromat. Willow, please don't eat any sweets now. Close the fridge, Baba. A drink? Here. We went and had our dinner in front of the TV. I don't really have a dining room table and chairs yet. I also don't have a kitchen island. So I'm thinking of getting a either a kitchen island with chairs with like bar chairs or um, a dining room table. However, I do like how open my space is right now. So I don't wanna get too much furniture that will just clutter everything up. I was done with my dinner pretty much in no time. And then I was just sitting on the couch waiting for Willow to finish her dinner. What is three plus five? Yeah. 
Do you wanna play? No. Eight. What is two plus four? Then I normally try to read her a story before bedtime. This doesn't normally happen, but I really try to do it at least from Monday to Friday. Um, and I need to go and get more books from school. Um, I returned the last books that we took and I didn't take new ones, but now I need to go and get new ones so that we can read consistently every night. Yo guys, I'm tired. I am just like so tired. My eyes are burning. This eye is even red and irritated because I was scratching it. But today was just a hot day. Like it should be illegal to be this hot. And the heat just tires you out like so much. I'm so grateful for my little portable aircon that makes the room nice and cold. Um, you know, it's just blowing directly at me and yeah basically today we just came home i made dinner i had no list to cook dinner but i had to because i wanted to eat protein so i cooked steak and eggs we had dinner after dinner i had a piece of chocolate and then we came upstairs i'm just drinking cold water for the rest of the night and yeah i was also not feeling well because of that time of the month I took some painkillers because I was really painting and now I just want to go to bed. Good morning. Not good morning, Sally. Good morning. <laughs> it's good night. Good night. Did you go get an apple? It's rotten. No, don't eat the rotten side. Huh. I'm getting wind snack. Good morning guys, so today is the 3rd of December and it's the second day of Vlogmas. It's a very busy day for me today. Obviously I have work, but I also have a lot of personal errands to run. So, I don't know. I feel very guilty when I have work and I have personal errands that I need to run. Normally when this happens, I will just take a day off so that I can run my errands in peace and not be disturbed by work. You know, then I just take a day off and take a personal day. I'll put in annual leave. But this day was kind of unexpected, so all of these things just sprung up on me. I have to go to physio, I have a physio appointment, which I completely forgot about. And they didn't send me a reminder. Luckily, I called yesterday and I asked them, when is my next physio appointment? And they said, it's tomorrow at 10. So, a few other things that I also need to do. I got really bad sunburn when we were voting. Just look at the sunburn. Um, I don't know if you can see so good. But yeah, and it was really hurting, but I think it's starting to peel now. So yesterday I weighed myself after I had already like gotten dressed and I drank a lot of water 
normally first thing in the morning i like to drink like um like 500 ml of water which is already 0.5 grams of weight that gets added to your to the scale and i was i weighed myself in my jeans normally i weigh myself just in my underwear but i forgot yesterday morning and so after i had already gotten dressed and had breakfast i quickly weighed myself but i knew i didn't gain like weight because last time i weighed i was um 96 so i knew i didn't gain weight and also it's my period when i get my period i get bloated and i just carry more weight and i weigh more so like even though i weighed 98 on the scale yesterday i wasn't worried about it i knew that my weight was much less than that and um like i've always said for me it's not about the number on the scale it's about how i feel you know and i feel fine i feel great i feel much lighter and what else yeah it's really not about the number on the scale guys it's about your health and how you feel and i knew when i started this weight loss journey that it was going to take a very long time and it's not about dropping a few kilograms here or there sorry about the truck that is making noise it's not about dropping a few kilograms here or there um it's about getting healthier you know when i started this journey i was very unhealthy i was very unfit um extremely overweight constantly had heart but i was just on my way to a very bad place um but yeah now i'm feeling much better and i took a little bit of a break in my weight loss journey i was a little bit stagnant for a while and then now i started again so yeah just it was a mind shift change that i needed to make um and a lifestyle change that i needed to make not i want to lose weight as fast as possible to get to my goal weight as fast as possible i want to lose it gradually and keep it off and maintain it and be a healthier version of myself you know so that's what i was trying to do and um yeah thank you guys for following along my journey thank you for coming with me thank you for sticking around and thank you for commenting on my videos and liking and sharing my videos um i'll see you guys again in the next one i hope you guys enjoy the vlogmas bye